Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. And today we're reviewing the Heritage Rough Rider N22 LR and 22 Magna. I want to start out by saying thank you guys for getting me to 7,000 subscribers. Pretty cool. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have bought this. So thanks a lot. The reason I'm doing this review is because this is the cheapest revolver that you can buy bar none. You know, there's nothing cheaper than this. This is, this is peak. Well, Lowe's. This is Lowe's. I got the one with the black pearl grip. It's literally called the Black Pearl, which was pretty cool. I paid an extra like $5 just to get it named the Black Pearl. I mean, why not? You can pick one of these up for around $120, brand new in the box, 120 bucks out the door. I mean, other than taxes, because taxation is theft, but we're not going down that road today. But you're looking at all the ammo I have here. Well, what we're gonna do is put a different round in every cylinder right so we can like shoot all different kinds of rounds at once that's what i like about revolvers is that you can put a different round at each cylinder and it'll fire every single shot which i think is pretty cool hence why i wanted a 22 revolver for 120 dollars it's an extremely good deal The only thing that's different between this and just like the base Heritage Rough Rider is you have the, the black pearl grips and the hammer is silver. I'm not gonna say it's chrome. It's more of like a silver chrome-ish thing. It's not really chrome, but it's it looks good. It looks good. After you purchase this gun for $120, you can spend another $25 on the website and buy the 22 Magnum cylinder conversion for it. And then you're allowed to shoot 22 Magnums. And sorry you can't see my face that well. The hat's the only thing keeping the sun out of my eyes right now because I'm staring directly at it, apparently. So, sorry if you can't see my eyes. There you go. I'm blinded by the sun. If you haven't seen how these guns work is you load the rounds by putting, you open up the side cap here like that and go to half cock. And you can rotate, put in a round, 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 then close it and then you're ready to go. Now to eject the rounds, it doesn't break open so the rounds just come out. You have to put it in half cock and then right here you have this little lever thing with a spring in it. If you watch when I push it, see the little thing coming out the end right here? Right there? That's how you have to push the rounds out. You have to do it manually and it's the same concept. You have it on half cock. You push a round out turn the cylinder, push around out, turn the cylinder, push around out. Now this is a six and a half inch barrel on this. I didn't want the short one because it's already a 22 LR. It's already weak as it is. So the extra, you know, two and a half inches really will make a big difference when it comes to power at least. And I pulled out some specialty rounds today. These are really weird ones. They're called 22 Calibris. And I don't know if you can read it or not because I can't see the screen because it's so dang bright out right now. But these shoot at 420 feet per second. Extremely slow. It's like a pellet that's in a 22 LR casing. It's kind of weird. Really slow though. It's pretty much just like the primer shoots it out the barrel. But even with this thing, it's still stupid loud. Now with a rifle, completely quiet. So quiet. Sounds suppressed. And check this out. I got me some of that bulk cheap ammo. And look, look at how much the prices used to be back in the day. $14. Don't you guys wish you would have stacked up when it was cheap like that? And the weird thing about these guns is, right here on the back, there is a safety that's behind the hammer that a lot of people hate. This little thing, you flip it, now your safety's on. Now the hammer can't hit the firing pin down in there, you see? But if you flip this back, it can hit the firing pin. So, safe. Not safe. We'll leave it on safe for now. Until I forget, just like everybody else does, and then it doesn't shoot when I'm in the middle of something, but it's okay, I'll forget probably. And shout out to Lucas from T-Rex Arms on YouTube for getting rid of this tax stamp. If it wasn't for him, we'd still have to pay that unconstitutional tax. So thank you, Lucas. Very cool. But today we've got these are Remington Thunderbolts. All these are. These are 22 Magnums. These are the 22 Calibris I was telling you about. That's like a weird pellet. These are some Winchester kind of high-end ammo, you know, box ammo. Not box, not box ammo, but uh, yeah, the good ammo. <laughs> These are some cheap ammos. American Eagle, 
just like the the clothing brand that sucks okay we got some and i found these the other day and i've been looking for these for a long time but the remington subsonics you never see them anymore all subsonic ammo is impossible to find we got some winchester box ammo you know just winchester it's copper i think it's copper jacket yeah copper copper bullets so there's that and then these are copper bullets as well the uh what are these byob i bought that big thing right before everybody started going crazy on ammo which is great but we're going to try all these out through this revol revolver in one go i mean we can't do the magnums obviously but the other ones we're going to put all different rounds in it and just all the sounds might be a little bit different i'm hoping i know that the subsonics are going to sound a lot different than the regular ammo because this thing's extremely loud because the barrel's so short but yeah it's a very good little revolver i love shooting this i like shooting it more than the uh ruger wrangler I, I actually do enjoy this more than the ruger wrangler surprisingly even though it's cheaper it just seems better all around in my opinion you may have other opinions but i think it's great it's just a solid little gun like this right here is all like cast steel the only thing that's like actual forged steel is surprisingly the little opener here that the cylinder and the barrel that's the only things that are forged steel minus the hammer it might be but i don't know but other than that the rest of it's cast like this frame's cast the back of it's cast i mean i'm not complaining it's 120 dollars, but it's pretty good i mean it's not gonna fail on you unless you really get some cheap cheap cheapo ammo all right so here's the order we're gonna have these in i'm not probably gonna be shooting it in that exact order but this is the order they're in these are the calibri see how weird they look these are the remington subsonics these are the winchester box ammo this one is the remington thunderbolt and then this one is these winchester box ammo not box ammo the good stuff the good stuff it comes in the nice box and this one is the byob rimfire bulk ammo so let's load it up just like this go to half cock safety is on as you can see clean that a little bit let's put in the the calibri the weird looking calibri subsonic which is pretty nice it's really slick looking interesting then the Winchester bulk ammo. And that's gonna that's gonna roll away. Okay. Now the Remington Thunderbolt. Now the Winchester nice box ammo. Whatever that you would call that. And then BYOB bulk. Bulk tub ammo, apparently. And now lower the hammer here she's ready to fire all right let's adjust the camera all right i'm going to be aiming at the first two targets because i'm not that good of a shot so let's start there i don't remember which rounds first i think it might be the calibris but we'll see with the sound all right got my earplugs in let's go all right here we go There goes the Calibri. So this next one should be the Remington Subsonic. I thought. That is all six, I think, because I wasn't counting as I should. All right, let's empty these. That one's empty. Come on. That one's empty. 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 All right, so it did. Okay, we're good. It shot all six. I wasn't counting. Good thing, huh? See, did you hear how quiet the Calibris were? I love how quiet these things are. These things are awesome. I'm actually gonna shoot a whole mag of these, well, a whole cylinder, because they're just so cool. These are even quieter in a rifle, like I said earlier. They're extremely quiet. But the main reason I wanted this revolver was so I could shoot Calibri's. Let's put these in. I don't really know if we need them. I'm gonna go at the closest targets again. Interesting. 
Yeah. You remember what I told you? Yeah, I left the stupid safety on. Stupid me. All right, safety off. Let's go. Are you kidding me? There we go. This stuff smells funny, like really freaking funny. It's an odd smell. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but look at this front sight. Can you see it's bent? Looking down the sights. They must have bent it from the factory to get it, you know, in sight, I guess. But it's just interesting. I didn't even notice it was like bent that much. It's bent off to the right, if you can see it. A pretty good ways to. All right, now for the big boy. We're going to the 22 Magnum. This one in the middle is a 22 LR, and this one to the right is a 22 Calibri. Look at the size difference here. Yeah, the 22 Magnum's a bit more powerful than that one. All right, let me show you how to change the cylinder out. Here's the 22 Magnum cylinder, okay? What you gotta do, okay, put it to half cock. Now, what you do is push this button on the side, right? And then you grab this little stem right here, push the button, The stem comes out. All right. Now you open this. You have to open this to get it out because it has the grooves on the end. Take that out. Set it off to the side. Take your 22 Magnum. Where does it say it at? There, 22 Magnum WMR. You put it in. Make sure it's seated in there good. Now you take this. Close this and you push this back in and then you push the stem back in now you got a 22 magnum a lot more powerful <laughs> check this out it comes in like an old school milk can thing whatever you want to call these these milk boxes this is just like that but anyways let's take six out I have not shot mine in 22 Magnum at all. So it's definitely gonna be a quite a bit louder. Okay. Now half cock. Make sure your cylinder is empty. We're good. Well duh, we just put it in. Duh. Make sure your safety is on for this one. Yeah, let's put that on. I mean put the safety on for both. They're both very extremely powerful, capable rounds. I mean, not extremely powerful, but definitely capable rounds. Put this on, this one in. Let's lower that, and she's ready to go. And by the way, I'm shooting CCI Maxi Mags because they're the most potent 22 Magnum round that I know of. I mean, other than like specialty rounds. All right, we're loaded up with the 22 Magnums. These are extremely loud. I'm just gonna go for it. Probably the one on the right that I've been shooting the entire time. Safety is off. We are hot. <laughs> I'm going for the hanging targets in the distance. I'm not that good of a shot, so. A lot more power <laughs> for $25. And everybody in a three mile radius knows I'm here now. Man, it has a shock wave. That's some powerful stuff. There's a tree blocking me out now, so that's a thing. But that and 22 Magnum, that's a that's a pretty good round. <laughs> like I said, if you own one of these, go ahead and order the 22 Magnum cylinder. You can't go wrong. It's $25 shipped to your house, free shipping. I mean, that's sick. But if you don't own one of these, you definitely need to go out and buy one, like probably right after you watch this video because they're so dang cool and good. Uh, I was having a little bit of problems with the Calibris. 
but these aren't really they're pretty old now and I think I was light striking them or they're just junk I mean they were they're pretty cheap ammo I mean no one ever shoots them because they're weird and odd the only thing we had a problem with today was the Calibri's but yeah pick one of these up for 120 bucks go buy the magnum cylinder order it online have it shipped to your house you're $145 into a freaking awesome awesome revolver and it's really cool because you know they're so cheap you're not really worried about it getting hurt or scratched or anything like that that's a nice feeling you know not having to worry about some like a like a $800 rare Smith & Wesson 22 revolver that's a special edition you don't have to worry about that it's just a cheap old cheapo revolver really fun a lot of fun but these are very common you can, they, they're everywhere there's a ton of different editions of them you can get different barrel lengths you can get you know the four inch you can get the six 6.5 inch you can get i think there's a nine inch and then i think there's a 16 inch the barrel's like i'm not sticking my hand in front of it but the barrel's like you know way out here it's weird looking i gotta pick one of them up because that's odd i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys come back maybe subscribe you know have a good time you know it's free doesn't hurt nothing you know and i plan on making some cool videos in the future i have some parts coming in for one gun that you might be interested in but yeah if you want to plank for fun 22 lr you got the 22 magnum you could actually use 22 magnum as self-defense rounds i would personally easily 22 magnum that's a powerful round people don't realize it yeah i think the ar-15 is a 22 technically so once again thank you guys for 7,000 subscribers and i'll see you guys in the next video now i have two cylinders to clean not just one <laughs> and it needs it because 22 burns dirty oh